What's up everyone? I'm Tim and this is my channel 40 Times Around where we talk about everything related to motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. And today we're going to do a full breakdown and review of this really exciting first aid kit as it relates to motorcycle camping and motorcycle travel. Stick around. Today we're doing a review of this first aid kit from a really cool company that I was actually super interested in and I decided to reach out to Survivewear to see if they wanted to work together with me to help me make this video. And they were nice enough to sponsor this episode so I could put together this review for you guys. They were also nice enough to let me give you guys a 10% discount on all of their products. And all you have to do to get that discount is just use the code I'm gonna give you at the end of this video. We're gonna go through all the features of this kit and talk about how they relate to motorcycle travel and adventure in general. My personal preferences for a first aid setup and how this one measures up. So jumping right in, the reason I was so excited about this brand is that number one, I think their products are great but I like that they're a small company and they give back to good causes. In fact, a percentage of their profits go to the hands-free charity, which I hadn't heard of before looking into this brand a little deeper. It's a really great charity that donates 3D printers to schools around the United States and then teaches kids how to make prosthetic hands with it. And they make hands for kids all over the world. So not only does this help kids who need inexpensive prosthetic hands, but it helps the kids that are learning to make them as well because they're giving these printers to lower income areas where kids wouldn't normally have access to 3D printers. So it's a pretty great cause. And I always think it's cool when a company decides to give back to the community like that. Anyway, Survivewear makes a lot of products I was interested in for motorcycle travel and motorcycle camping. And from what I've seen so far, they're great quality too. They actually have a 100% money back guarantee on their products, which is always nice because if you don't like something or you're not happy with it, you can just send it back, although I really don't see that happening. The price is competitive for similar kits, only $34.95, and this kit has a lot of great reviews on Amazon. But what really caught my attention when I was shopping around for first aid kits was the labels and sleeves to keep everything organized. I like the idea that if someone was helping me after I had possibly been in a motorcycle accident, they would be able to find what I needed a lot quicker that way. I think that's a really innovative design feature. I like the pocket in the front with little baggies inside for your personal medication, and I would probably put some cold medicine, anti-diarrhea meds, antihistamines, and a few other travel-related medicines to that part of the kit. So it's nice there's a place to put that stuff. My initial reaction when I got this kit was that the container for everything seems durable. I like the compact size for throwing this in a saddlebag. The bag itself is water resistant, but not waterproof. However, all of the contents have their own waterproof baggies protecting everything. Now, I'm a big fan of bags within bags if you didn't know that already. So let's talk about what's in this kit. To start off, the bag itself is a 600D polyester bag. Like I said earlier, it's durable and well made. It can be attached to a backpack and I am of course a big fan of these labels inside that make it easy to keep things organized. Even restocking it becomes easier because if something happens to be missing after an emergency situation, you know exactly what isn't there. So there's one PBT conforming bandage. This is a stretchy bandage that conforms to a body part and it's used to hold together a dressing on a wound. There's one crepe bandage. This is a compression bandage to help with any swelling. It can also offer support to a sprain. It's good for joints, wrists, elbows, knees, ankles, and more. There's also three alcohol wipes. These are good for sanitizing tools, cleaning hands before touching a wound, and if an incision needs to be made for some reason, you can disinfect the skin beforehand. Three sting relief wipes, which are good for mosquito bites, bee stings, and other insect-related irritation. They'll provide temporary relief of discomfort and itching. These will definitely come in handy for motorcycle camping. There's four antiseptic wipes. These are used for killing germs and sanitizing skin or other surfaces. They can be used to clean wounds and prevent infection. Three cotton gauze swabs for dressing wounds, two eye pads, which are gonna come in handy if you get whacked in the eye with a bug while riding down the highway, or if you poke yourself in the eye trying to get your sunglasses on in your helmet. They'll help protect an eye injury and it'll help prevent strain and infection. So there's an assortment of butterfly bandages in different sizes, and these are thin adhesive strips used to close small wounds. Butterfly bandages can be applied across a cut or laceration. This way it pulls the skin together on either side of the wound. There's also five H-shaped bandages, good for hand injuries if you get a cut between your fingers. I've actually gotten that issue collecting firewood and snapping branches for kindling. H bandages fit between your fingers. There's five square shaped bandages, two large, five mini, 
and 20 standard bandages. All of these are good for wound closure and keeping things from moving that aren't supposed to move. There's one triangular bandage which can be used as a sling or for other specialized wound dressings. You would usually use this with safety pins which are right over here. Safety pins can also be used as makeshift stitches. There's also an emergency blanket. The kit also comes with six inch shears uh, which are made for cutting through clothes and just about any other material if you need to get it out of the way of an injury to treat a wound. There's a pair of tweezers and two sets of splinter probes. These are actually much better for getting splinters out rather than using tweezers, so this is kind of a nice addition to the kit. There's also a CPR pouch, which is removable and standalone, which is kind of a nice feature. So in that kit, you have a pair of rubber gloves and a CPR breathing mask. There's also some hypoallergenic tape for wound dressings and all sorts of other uses. In the middle here, you'll find a whistle, 10 cotton swabs, which are a safer way to apply ointment to wounds like burn cream or antiseptic ointment, and can also be used for cleaning wounds. There's a tourniquet for cutting off blood flow if you can't close a wound and someone is losing a lot of blood. Now in the front pocket, there's these little medicine baggies and personal medicine mini bags. Those are for your personal medication. So there are a few things that I would add to this kit to gear it a little more towards motorcycle adventures. Neosporin, a SAM splint, maybe a blood clotting agent, and an NPA or other breathing adjunct. The neat thing is that there's built-in extra space for adding items, so this is a really great kit in my opinion if you're getting started putting together a kit or if you're looking for one already built. This is a solid option for motorcycle travel and motorcycle camping. Like I said, I'll link to it down below in the description box if you want to check it out. This kit is only $34.95, which seems low for everything in it. Like I said earlier, Survivewear was nice enough to let me give you guys a 10% discount, and it's actually good on any of their products. Just use the code 4010 at checkout. Again, thanks to Survivewear for helping make this video possible. Anyways, that's it. That's the Survivewear Small First Aid Kit. I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you guys want to see more videos about motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.